20 minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in when I was a kid. I can remember getting the uh, the catalog. I called it a Christmas catalog. I don't really know what what store it was from. Mm-hmm. All I know is it had lots of toys in the catalog, right? Yeah. And I, I remember, you know, you know how you make your wish list, you know, for, for Christmas. And um, you circle things in the catalog and you give it to your mom. I'm going to ask Santa for this. <laughs> That's right. So I was, I was sharing with you one time one of the toys that I kind of always wanted. But then I always wanted something else anyway. So I never got this one toy. Mm-hmm. It was a drive-in movie theater. You took your yep. toy cars, you tr- pushed them into the drive-in movie theater, and you somehow, I, I guess you could project little movies or little film strips, probably not moving pictures, probably slides mm-hmm. or whatever, onto this screen. So on my birthday, what, a year ago or two years ago, yep. you gave me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still in my office. and still in the box. You ordered it on eBay. Somebody yep. had it, and you must have paid a fortune for it. <laughs> Uh, but it was it was kind of cool. I'm so glad I got it. I, I, the toys are a fascinating thing. So that was a hot toy for me, even though I never got it until I was 58 years old. <laughs> uh, but got toy, your popcorn with it too. You certainly did. I think you I still have, to have that have too. Popcorn with the drive-in movie. Anyway, so this is the time of year. I love this topic. I'm uh, going on 60 now, and I still love talking about the hottest toys. So uh, Nicole Hayes is on the phone. She is a toy expert. What a great, what a great job. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Uh, good morning, Nicole. How you doing? Morning. I'm doing great. I'm really excited to talk about toys with you guys. Where are you? I'm in uh, the Times Square store. So I'm in the Times Square Toys R Us store. Oh, oh man. That, wow. I've been there. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, t- so tell me, what is the, what are the hot toys? Well, I guess we should jump into it because we don't have much time. Yeah. So we have hot toys for every different age group. Um, you know, 11-year-olds like one toy, babies like another toy. So we have toys for all the different ages. So we start with babies first Christmas. Sometimes it can be hard to shop for new babies. They really can't tell you what they want. Right. You shop so. for the mom when they're little. When they're little like that, you shop for the mommy. <laughs> and the dad. Dads love toys. <laughs> to make it a little bit easier for uh, gift givers, we give them the baby's first Christmas list. And we have the Bright Starts Having a Ball Hide and Spin Monkey. This is really cute. Monkeys are adorable. And this one has really bright, big eyes. And kids love that. So you place some balls in the monkey's hat, and they spiral down a ramp. And there's lights and sounds. Oh, how cool. <laughs> it's very cute. Oh. Ah. Hide and spin monkey. Okay. I need that one. That sounds like I want one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got me wanting one. Okay. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk prices? How much is that? The hide and spin monkey. Yeah, we can talk pricing. Um, uh, the hide and spin monkey is about nineteen ninety. Or I'm sorry, thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Hide and spin monkey. Got to write that down. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's appropriate for... I mean, we're so very conscientious these days about safety. So I'm guessing all that's taken into account when... when Oh, yeah. We spend tons of time looking at these uh, toys from around the world. And, you know, I mean, our experts, they travel the world to find the best toys. And they start in January and they go to different toy fairs and they know exactly what's hot, what's not. All of these toys have been tested by kids and they're all safety approved. So... um, Anything that you find on our list is good to go for the little ones. I, I find it interesting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are on the list. My son is 36. And, oh, really? And uh, uh, they they came out when he was like a 10 years old, and now they they must be making a comeback. They are, and I was a huge Turtles fan as a kid, too, so I'm really excited about a lot of the items on the list. So we have the Stretch and Shout Leonardo. So this is a really fun item. If you remember Stretch Armstrong. Right. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you take Leonardo's arms and you stretch them, and he has an 8-inch wingspan. And as you're stretching, his voice gets higher and higher, and he shouts out cowabunga. And oh, Wow. <laughs> That's a really fun one. Oh, man. See, my, my son is 28. I'm going to get him that. Yeah, he'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is the power that play can have on kids. I mean, it stays with you until you're an adult. You remember these memories stick with you. So. Stretch and shout Leonardo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, and, and, and enjoy the art toys, too, that you can give a child, and then they let the creativity flow. Do you have that type of recommendation? We definitely do. So we have Charmazing Color Me Up. So every year there's a really fun bracelet trend. Last year was the Crazy Loom. This year is Charmazing. So they can use 
all these hundreds of different beads that we have to create their own personalized bracelets. And there's an app component, so kids can take a picture of the different charms that they have on their bracelets, upload them into the app, and become charm master of the charmazing universe. Oh, man. Wow. So you, 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 you made me realize is that these, these uh, devices that became toys for everybody, adults and children, they're no longer toys. They're now a part of us. So now, yeah. so that's, that's not the toy anymore. Now we're back to the normal toys, but we're just putting pictures on the other, other toys. <laughs> we're putting yeah. pictures of our toys on our toys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> how how about the uh, 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 huggable toys, like the stuffed animals? Um, well, we have we have tons of plush toys, but if you're looking at some of the dolls that we have that kids are going to really love cuddling up to, there is no thought in sight for Frozen, and we have Disney Frozen Snow Glow Elsa, so little ones are going to love pressing her little uh, necklace and then hearing let uh, let it go. So you're going to hear the song again. You're going to hear up to 15 sounds from the movie. So this is going to be a huge hit. You know what I saw the other day? I saw a car, a toy car, parked in the parking lot and at a store. And there must have been a child in there. I sure hope somebody was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> but so he, he drove a little car. I remember when I was a kid. The, do you remember the Marks of Cart? The, yeah. It was a car. I, I don't know how old you are, but it, it, uh, gosh, this goes a long back. Long back. <laughs> but are battery-powered cars still popular? I mean, the ones you can actually drive? They are. And, and we, in fact, have one on our list for the big kids. So it might be for you. I know my husband would love this item. Really? Um, but it's with a unique spin. So we have the Hot Wheels Street Hawk remote control flying car. So it is a remote-controlled car. Flying. Uh, you know, a traditional one, but then it flies, and it flies up to 200 feet in the air. Wow. You can fly in it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you can fly out in your backyard and have fun for hours with that one. But you don't sit in it, right? No. It's, oh. It's small. it's small and very lightweight. That's how it can fly up to 200 feet in the air. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Remote control flying oh, car. That is cool. 200 family. feet? That's taller than our antenna. Yeah. Wow. We, we could change the light bulb on our antenna with that yeah. thing somehow. <laughs> <laughs> or at least put a GoPro on yeah. it and get a picture of it. That's anyway. right. Yeah. Are uh, uh, Lego still popular? Lego is still popular. And like I said, there's a lot of different trends with technology coming into play. And this year we have on the list the Lego Fusion Town Master. So these simulation games allow players to create brick by brick a Lego town. So you create, you know, a traditional brick Lego building. You snap a photo of it. You upload it into the Lego Fusion app. And you create a whole town within the app. And there's missions you go on. Wow. And you collect. Oh, it's a whole other world of play. So really? it's a lot of value. A lot you, of fun. And you know what drives kids nuts? And this drove me nuts even when I was a kid. You look at the picture of Santa Claus's workshop, right? It's all these little wooden trains. Nobody wants a little wooden train. <laughs> it's a little wooden top. Yeah. I don't want a little wooden horse. <laughs> I want a flying car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want a Lego that turns into an adventure. Exactly. Uh, um, um, in my list here, it says something about the Disney Frozen Snow Glow. Elsa, what is that? So that was the one I had just been talking about. She sings Let It Go. She recites oh, okay. phrases from the movie. So she is adorable. She has a really pretty blue dress that lights up. Um, so she, I mean, kids who love Frozen, and there are tons of them, are going to go crazy over Disney Frozen. I guess that went over my head. Well, you are a fun guest, and you're in a fun place, and you're talking about a fun subject. I am. Nicole, we have about 20 seconds. Uh, can you leave us with a website? Sure. So we have our full list of 36 toys plus our fabulous 15 on ToysRUs.com backslash hot toy. So go there for more in prices and everything else you need. Hard to believe we're coming upon that season. Well, yeah. Nicole, thank you so much for being on. You were fun. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. All right. We'll be right back to have fun with Joe. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. In the wake of a scandal over veterans' health care, conflicting reports over the fate of some senior executives. House Veterans Affairs Committee Chair Jeff Miller says no executives have been fired from the VA. One of them, John Goldman, recently retired from the VA facility in Dublin, Georgia. Shortly after his retirement, Miller says the VA tried to claim he was let go. Fox Radio's Rachel Sutherland. Miller says the three other executives will probably be allowed to retire rather than lose their jobs. Congressman Miller calls the VA fire. 